Okay, welcome back to another tutorial on trigonometry. What we're going to do um, in this tutorial is a little bit different to what we've been doing so far. So by this stage, you should be quite familiar with the sine, cos and tan ratios. Now remember, you can use that so card toa little thing to, to remind you which ratio to use. That's going to come again up again in this tutorial. Now you can see from the heading that what we're going to do is find an unknown angle in a right angle triangle. Now I've drawn a little triangle here for you as you can see we've got theta marked there the reference angle and we've got two sides marked in here four centimeters and five centimeters four, five centimeters I should say. Okay so we might be faced with something like this. Now what we can do this is a little bit different. We're not trying to find one of the sides here you'll notice there's nothing marked here I'm not going to be asked to find that side what I am going to be asked to do though is find this angle here. So what could we do? Let's just think about what we've been using so far and see if we can set something up, see if we can set up some sort of equation here. My first step always is to label my triangle. So what I've got here is my hypotenuse side, although that isn't going to be used in this question here. Opposite that reference angle is my opposite side, leaving this side next to that angle there, the adjacent. So the two sides that I've been given here is the opposite side and the adjacent side. So remembering your Soka Toa, hopefully you can see that using the O and the A sides, that's this part here, that's my tan ratio. So tan theta is equal to O over A, and if I substitute my values that I know into this, I can see that tan theta equals 4 over 5. Now at this stage, we can't really do anything using just our tan button on our calculator, can we? That's not going to help us solve for this angle here. Basically what we're asking when we write this down is what angle, what value of that th for theta there will give us the ratio of 4 over 5. What angle will give us that ratio, that tan ratio? There is a way that we can do this. What, we'll, what we're going to do is use something called an inverse sine, cos and tan function. I'll just skip to another page here. The inverse trigonometric functions. The way that we write Inverse. Inverse basically means we're going the opposite, we're doing the opposite thing, we're inverting. Instead of finding an unknown side, or instead of finding the ratio, I should say, by typing into our calculator, we are going to go the opposite way. Given a ratio, we're going to find what angle will give us that ratio. This is how we write the inverse. You can see it's, it's sine again, but to the power of negative 1. When you see that there, it is doing something different. Okay, it is doing the inverse of what we've been doing before. What I want you to look at is what do you get when you press on your calculator sine 30? 30 degree angle, sine 30. Type that into your calculator. You get 1 over 2. Or you might get it as a decimal, which we know is 0.5. Now what I want you to do is say we've got this ratio here, sine theta equals 1 over 2. We're going to ask the calculator, when you've got a sine ratio of 1 over 2, what angle, what angle will give me that 1 over 2? What we're going to do is use the inverse sine function. A little bracket will open when you when you put that in and you can put 0 0.5 or you can put 1 over 2, it doesn't matter. It's the same thing. We're going to ask the calculator that. Now if you're not sure where that button is, I'll just bring up your calculator here. You'll see that just above the sign button there, it's got sign inverse. So you will have to press second and then sign to get that inverse function to come up. Okay, let's just get back to it. Inverse sine of 1 over 2, and you might be able to see exactly what's going to happen here. 
Inverse sine of 0.5 or 1 over 2 is, of course, 30 degrees. The calculator has all of these different possible ratios stored into it. So what we're doing is saying, all right, calculator, if we've got a sine ratio of 1 over 2, what angle, what reference angle must we have? And it will tell you 30 degrees. What I'd like you to do is just, in your summary book, let's put a heading, the inverse trigonometric functions. And let's list these in here. You might like to um, jot down maybe some calculator instructions if you wish, um, but you should be able to remember that part. You may also like to put this sine 30 down as an example as well. Sine 30 is equal to 1 over 2. Therefore, inverse sine of 1 over 2 must be equal to 30 degrees. So pause here if you'd like to do that. And what we'll do is look at some examples next. Okay, here we go. Let's have a go with our calculator, working out what possible angle will give us this as a ratio, this decimal as the ratio. So we know that sine theta is, is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. Instead of being given that as a, in its fraction form, we've been given it as a decimal, as a rounded decimal. So what we can say with this one is that if sine theta equals that decimal there, then theta must equal the inverse sine of that number. And what you can do is type this part here into your calculator and up here you'll see it says to the nearest degree so we'll actually round it. When you do that, hopefully you can see that you get 24 degrees. That's rounded so I got 23.9977 etc. So we'll round it to the nearest degree. Do the same with the next one. So what angle, if I put here, if I put cos and an angle, what will give me that? Use that inverse cos, 0.9816, and you get 11 degrees. And that, again, is rounded to the nearest degree. Have a go at the last one before I do it. You might like to pause. Again, theta equals, we're using the tan ratio, so inverse tan, 0.5543. Put that into your calculator and we have 29 degrees rounded. Remember with all of these, whenever you're saying theta equals, you do need to put that degree symbol there. It's a unit, so don't forget that. Pause here and you can put those examples also into your book. What we'll do next is look at some triangles. Here we go. So I've done a couple of examples to show you exactly how we put this into practice. First step, as always, let's look at this one on the left first. Let's label this triangle. So, hypotenuse there. Notice how it's not labelled. I'm not going to use the hypotenuse here. Always we're using a pair of two sides. These two sides here I'll now label. That one is opposite the theta angle. This one is next to it. It's adjacent to it. O and A, remember your Sokatoa. O and A is the tan, tangent ratio. So that's my first step, is to write that. Second step is to substitute. So substitute your values into here. I've got 12 and I've got 5. Opposite over adjacent is 12 over 5. Just move down a little bit so that we can see this. Now that I know that this ratio here is equal to 12 over 5, I'm asking what angle, what angle will give me that? Now I might just have to move this over a little bit because I should have put at the front theta equals because that's what I'm looking for. Theta equals inverse tan of 12 over 5. Now grab your calculator out. You will need the calculator, obviously, in all of our lessons, trigonometry 
And if you put that into your calculator, let's round to the nearest degree again. I get 67.38, so just 67 degrees rounded. Put this into your summary book. What I'll do is I will zoom up. You can pause there to get the diagram. And if you pause here, you can get the workings. Let's go to the next example now. Here it is here. First step again, always label your triangle. I've got the hypotenuse side this time, opposite the right angle. Don't have the opposite side, that's the, the one that's left out in this problem. This one up here is adjacent, it's next to those angles up there. Remember, so ka toa, I've got A and H, that's this bit here, ka. So it's the cos or the cosine ratio. Always write that first, ladies. You should always be writing the ratio at the beginning. Next step, adjacent over hypotenuse, so 9 over 16. And remember, I'm looking for what angle will give me this ratio here. Theta is equal to, whenever you're finding an angle, inverse cos, and in the brackets, 9 over 16. And we will be putting that into our calculator. Inverse cos, make sure you've got the inverse. Don't press just cos because obviously that's not going to work. And let's round to the nearest again. I get 55.77, so 56 degrees. Pause here again and you can put that example into your summary books. Thank you very much for listening and we'll look at this in further detail in our next lesson.